Hello guys. Good morning. Now let me just say that the market is going to crash. The market's going to crash. If you have crypto in the market, I would start selling. I know this is this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start dollar cost averaging out of my position. So I'm going to stop dollar cost averaging in and I'm going to start dollar costing average out because I think we have close to like 30 or $40,000 in the market, which is about one Bitcoin. So I'm going to DCA those out like some in Ethereum, some in Bitcoin um, that we mostly purchased down here. So I'm going to take those out. Like I think we, we went down here and, and up this way. I'm going to take those out because my suspicion, this is a suspicion, of course, so going to head down, at least retest these bottoms. But as the interest rate continues to go up, which we're going to see in March, like right around here, uh, I think we're going to go further down. I, I don't see this. There's a lot of hopium. These these YouTubers will tell you, hey, listen, this and that. But like we, we I talked about this yesterday. We're below this 50 week moving average. And historically, every time, every single time, go check. You can check this yourself. Every single time we're below the um, the 50 week. We and we close not here because we didn't close. But if we close entirely below the 50 week, we go and test the 200, right? This is uh, this is not what I want to do. Uh, I do not want to do this. Now we're on the uh, so I got to switch the log to see that. Uh, this is I don't want to be a part of this um, as we're going down like this. It, it, that's absurd. The 200 week is like the golden spot. That's where I really want to be. That is the place I really want to be. So you no, know, whatever we need to do. Uh, this was there was one anomaly here. Uh, but we actually, like, we we ended up, to, it was like, anomaly, okay, and then wait, like, a month, uh, like, two months, and then just come straight down to go test it. So I don't even consider this an anomaly. I think this is accurate. If you go below the 50, you're going to test the 200. That's the, that's the rule of the game here. That is the rule. I'm not going to play with rules, and I'm not going to pretend like I can change the rules. I'm going to um, follow the rules. So now that we've had some closes below the 50 and we're getting rejected, you could say, by the 50. We've tried to break through it. We couldn't. And we, you can see here, this is the bull market. So you could even maybe say that we've tried to get close to it and we were rejected by the bull market. I don't know if you could say that, but I can say for sure we've been rejected by the 50. I'm selling out of my positions and moving into cash. And um, I'm waiting because I want to buy around here. This bottom happy face is really my target. That would be a beautiful. A 25K Bitcoin would be magical. And this also means that, I mean... Yes, it's going to be painful coming down, but trust me when I say we're going to go up. And that's when you can listen to these crypto influencers that are bull marketing, because I don't think the bull market's coming anytime soon. I, I I, mean, at least for a year, let's say, right? I would expect it sometime in 2023, maybe. But I do not expect a quick um, a quick out here. I think we're in it for the long run. I, I, I'm heavily spe skeptical that we go back up. He heavily skeptical. Let's talk about some of the things that could bring the market down in the short term. Uh, definitely Russia-Ukraine tension, right? Most certainly. There's no question about it. Um, there's 150,000 troops. <laughs> right? I I'm going to make another video right after this about why Russia needs to invade Ukraine. Some of the reasons that I think they should. But... You know, when you have 150,000 troops, like, really? You're not gonna, you're not gonna go in there? I doubt it, right? That's like, sorry, I didn't turn on the lights. Uh, that is absolutely absurd. Of course you're going to. Of course you're gonna go check it out. <laughs> you're gonna go deal with whatever you need to deal with, right? It's absolutely bonkers that you say that you won't. That plus the interest rate hike uh, on the 15th uh, is not gonna be great for crypto. Um, Fear and greed index, you bet, is gonna come down. And this is, you know, I mean, I. <laughs> It's, it's also unfortunate to say that this may have been a market top, right? This, which is actually quite, it's a little scary, right? Um, which it hasn't, it hasn't really been addressed, but, you know, the, the time previous in, um, what is this, 2014, our top was $1,000. Next one was $20,000. So that's a, that's a 20x. Now this one has been sixty, maybe. Yeah, you can, let's let's call it sixty. That's that's a measly three x from the previous top. So if you know if the argument of diminishing returns exists, we are definitely diminishing here. 
right? We we have real diminishing, and it, so we had a five x between twenty thirteen and uh, well, well, yeah, we had the f first one was twenty thirteen, and then the, we had a five x between these two peaks. But uh, the, the, you know, it's certainly nerve wracking, right? Like, okay, so is the cycle over? Is it becoming over? Like the amount of you know the up and down waves is is it kind of over? It's oh, wild, right? Absolutely wild. So like I'm now I'm expecting like a real, like a like a real eighty percent return, right? Like where is this? Yeah, like here's an eighty percent. Like that's down to fifteen k if we're going down eighty percent, thirteen k if we're going down eighty percent from the top, right? Which uh, over here. This is eighty percent, right? That's that's an eighty percent down from the top there. So I, I, I'm of course not sure what to expect, but I would like. You can also see that the eighty percent drop was essentially the two hundred week. This is what I expect here as well to us to come back down to the two hundred week and then go for another high. But that high might actually be one hundred twenty thousand dollars which is not very much higher than what we are. That's a 2x from the previous high. So that's wild. Like the, the theory on diminishing returns is real. And nerve wracking, to be absolutely frank, uh, because we're not going to see these like the, from, from previous tops. We're not going to see it. So you're really going to have to time it to make sure that you buy the, the lowest low. And I think my lowest low here is about 25K, maybe 25, 20K. <clears throat> but that's that's a tough cookie. Um, but this is all I really have to say. I don't really have much else to say except that things are wild. I don't see us making a new all-time high. We've broken past the 50-week, and this historically has indicated that things are going down. So let us wait and see. I will catch up with you soon.